Hey guys, it's Kaz here. I've got um, a mail haul for you today. I've got some Funko Pops from Zavi and a couple from HMV. Uh, a load of Blu-rays, a load of Steelbooks and a load of 4Ks. I went a bit nuts on the Zavi um, birthday thing and I had a £100 CX voucher that I spent. So I'll go through all these. First up, I'll do the Funko Pops. So the first one is a Harry Potter one. We've got Gilderoy Locker. There we are, number 59. It's a really cool pop, I do like that. And we also have some Chamber of Secrets. And then we've got from Wonder Woman, Etta Candy with the sword. It's really cool. So yeah, there's the back of there. I do want all of those as well. And then we've got from Wonder Woman 84. We've got Wonder Woman with the golden armor, open, flying. Let me just pause Spongebob. There you go. And there's the back there. I already have the one with the closed golden armor. And I have the flying one, so those are pretty cool. I think I've got um one, two, three now of this one. Because, uh, well, obviously because with the next one we've got Barbara here, Minerva. I really like Kristen Wiig in this movie. I didn't think I would, but it's really good. Obviously, same back there. I love the detail on that and the jacket. That's so cool. And next up, we've got one of the um, 80 years of Batman's um, Batman special ones. We've got Batman Red Sun. That's so cool. The detail on that is awesome. And then you've got the hat as well. It's just amazing. So there's the back there. And the last one is one of the Christmas uh, DC ones. So we've got the Joker as Santa Claus. With the, obviously a bomb present there, which is cool. He's got a little sack. So those are the ones you can get. I've got the Superman so far. Uh, planning to get the rest. Definitely want the Batman as Ebenezer Scrooge one. I've got quite a bit of weight to that one. So I got one normal Blu-ray. This was on CX. We got Justice League Gotham City Breakout. I wasn't... I don't know if it's... Uh, oh yeah, it does. So that comes with digital copy. Oh. Been crossed off. I don't know if that means it's used or not. If it isn't, then enjoy. So you just blue disc there. Is it weird? It matches the case really. There we go. Um, I had this. This is just an upgrade. I did have this on DVD, so I wanted to upgrade that. And next, I'll do the normal steel box. So we've got the Green Hornet. Uh, it's not the best Seth Rogen movie, but I did enjoy it. So we've got Green Hornet there. As I do like that on the back. We've got Kato there as well. So open this up. There's the artwork behind the disc. You just get one Blu-ray disc in there. Multi-region as well, so it's pretty cool. So there's Green Hornet. Uh, next up, I've got one for my Mondo collection. And we've got Frozen, which looks really cool. So this is number 30. We've got Olaf on the side there. There's the back. So I take the slip off. And there we go. There's a nice little snowflake on the back. And inside you get just the normal frozen, the normal disc with a Mondo steelbook and the number. And then you've got Sven behind the disc. So that is my Mondo steelbook of Frozen. And I got an Arrow steelbook. We've got Foxy Brown, one of my favourite Pangrea movies, I think it's brilliant, and Coffee as well, definitely a top one. So there's the front of it, there's the back, where's that come from? And there's with the Arrow video, and inside, so you get artwork behind, there we go, and you get the Oh no, it's not the booklet, that's the little card that you get with them. So you've got the foxy brown one. And then you get the booklet as well. Which uh, looks awesome. Can't wait to give that a look. And there's the other side of the steel book there. Oh yeah, I can't wait to give this another watch. To be fair, I did watch it not that long ago. But... And the last steel book I picked up is personal favourite franchise of mine, we've got Friday the 13th part 2, 
the 40th anniversary limited edition steelbook. So there's the back there. Oh, I love that. So cool, isn't it? Uh, so take that off. And inside, there's the artwork behind the disc. I do like that behind the disc. I didn't see that. There you go. So there's Friday the 13th part two. And now I'll do the 4Ks. The normal 4Ks. Then I'll do the 4K steel box and then I'll do the special edition um, Blu-rays and stuff. So first up with a slip, we've got Peter Rabbit. Pick this up because I wanted to check it out again before I check out Peter Rabbit too. I did really enjoy this one. And we got, uh, without a slip, we've got 300. Such a brilliant movie. I think this may not work. So there's 300 there. It's an amazing movie. The second one is great, but not as good as the first, but still a great movie. Then we've got Wreck-It Ralph. Now these Disney 4Ks, they're getting like alternate artwork on each one, which is great. So we've got Wreck-It Ralph there. And we've got to go with the, the Mondo Steelbook, we've got Frozen 2. These were all like six pound on the uh, CX. So just grabbed them while I could. Then we've got Tangled. Brilliant. I love that Disney movie. Um, Disney movie that I haven't seen all the way through. Definitely need to check it out. I did have the DVD and um, I've just sold it on because I was picking this up. We've got Brave. Then we got Infinity War. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Captain Marvel and Black Panther. Can't say anything about those because I haven't seen them. I will definitely be checking them out. And my favourite for normal 4K uh, of the lot, The Karate Kid. A nice little slip with it as well. Just classic. These movies are amazing. Maybe well, there's the back there. Definitely can't wait to check that out on 4K. Now let's do the... Let me pop it down so I can move things around. Now let's do the 4K steel box. So first up, we've got a Disney one. So we've got the 4K of the Jungle Book live action. Let's get this off and take what There we go. There's the artwork on the front there. That's pretty neat. There's the side. You've got the Jungle Book, Disney, well, like that. And inside, get 4K disc, Blu-ray disc. And there's the artwork behind. That's cool. Now the Embagira. There we go. So that is the Jungle Book live action. And then we've got, I do love this um, cartoon-esque artwork on here. We've got Shazam. I thought it was an enjoyable movie. I think it's very overrated though. But it's still, it's still fun. So there's the back there. Do you like the black and white back on the back? The artwork there. We've got Shazam there, there's no actual artwork on the back there. But you got the Blu-ray disc as well. Can't wait to see the um the new new Suicide Squad movie, but until then I got the extended cut, which is stupid because you bought the 4K, you want the extended cut on the 4K, but it's not, it's on the Blu-ray, as it says for that. Which is completely stupid. So there's the back there. I do like that, that's cool open this up so you've got the theatrical on the 4k there's the artwork behind then you got theatrical on the blu-ray and extended on the blu-ray and there's the rest of the crew what well, the squad there we go so that's suicide squad extended cut and then um i gotta get the sticker off this one but we've got jurassic world fallen kingdom and there's the back there or like that, the park is gone. And inside you get the Blu-ray disc, there's the artwork there. Blue on, blue on top of blue. Then you get the 3D Blu-ray, there's Owen there. And then you get the 4K disc, same artwork on all each discs, but at least we get artwork, okay? And the last one, I picked this up because it went from 29.99 to 19.99, and that is Hocus Pocus. Brilliant, one of my favorite movies of all time. Let's take this out and then take a look. So here's the front there. The three kids and three witches, which 
It looks amazing. I love it. Got Old Burial Hill there. That's the name on the side. And then you got Thackeray Binks on top of Emily. And then you got Billy Butcherson there. And his grave behind. And inside you've got the three witches. You've got Kathy Bates on her own on that one. And then the three on the Blu-ray. So this is the anniversary edition, obviously. Oh my god, that's crazy. <laughs> they look crazy. Well. She looks crazy. So that is my 4K seal book of Hocus Pocus. If I definitely a movie I recommend if no one's seen it. Definitely should see it. Now I got some uh, 88 films um and two arrow, one arrow 4K, so and one oh no, I got one, two, three, four, eighty eight, five eighty eight films. Oh never mind, I'll just go through them. So first up we've got Alice with Alice which uh, I've been wanting to see this for a while and I've sort of like put it on my list on Shudder but I've just never got around to it so I've decided to pick this up in the 2 for 15 so there's the back there and there's the artwork on the inside and you also get alternate artwork there which I think is the same artwork no it's alternate there we go with the heads out of the bag and next up, we've got Dead Time Stories. There wasn't uh, a lot that I wanted in the in the um, the HMV one, so I just grabbed uh, this one to go with Alice Sweet Alice. I think this was in the two for twenty actually. So this is um, the eighty eight Vault Dead Time Stories. There's the back there. There's the uh, artwork on the back now. Oh, that's cool, but I do prefer this artwork. So there's Dead Time Stories. Uh, another one I'd be wanting to watch, and that is Christmas Evil. I saw um, Jamie Powell pick this up. So um, I wanted, I've wanted, i just been wanting to pick this up for a while, and I finally got around to it. So a nice little slip cover it comes with as well. There's the back there. And inside here you get uh, whoops, you get a buckler as well. Oh, and on the pot. What's this? Is this uh Oh yeah, that's great. Amazing Christmas movies. Uh well, horror Christmas movies. I do I do have Anna and Pock, that's a really good movie. So there's the alternate artwork there. Can't wait to give this one a watch. Now, one that I also been wanting to pick up for a while, and it was out of stock in HMV, so I picked it up on um, Zavi, and that was Piranha 2, The Spawning. I love the artwork on this, it looks so amazing. That was so cool. There's the back there. Let's uh, open this up and take a look. So in here you get a poster. So there's the disc. There's the alternate artwork there. Oh, that's cool. Flying killers. And um, after Prana 3 Double D, do you think they're gonna do another one? Another remake? I don't know. Because at the end, they sort of like showed that the Pranas had feet and whatever and could walk. So there's the poster, that's awesome. Prana 2 Flying Killers. And yeah, there you go. And then Prana to the spawning, which is the same artwork as the slipcover. So there's Prana 2. I did really enjoy Prana 1, and I like I even though obviously it's a remake and it's, it's definitely not, not as good, I did really enjoy them. So next are two arrow ones. The first up is a favorite of mine, I've been wanting to pick it up, and I kept putting it off because I when it came up to pre-orders it was a bit too much for me and then i saw it in the um 40 percent off on zavi so i grabbed wreck it's just amazing look at that artwork though guys this looks so cool the eyes just like in the dark that's amazing here we go so there's the back there load of special features as normal with arrow 
It's got a nice little slip cover. And if I open it up, so first up we see is the little card for the stylist. Put that to the side, and then you get the oh, there's the old woman in the in the flat. So there's the cast and crew. We've got like little bits in the booklet there. There's yeah, the back. There's the artwork on the disc. Oh, that's cool. And then there's the alternate artwork. I mean, that's nice, but I'm going I'm to stick with this artwork because this artwork is just amazing. It looks so cool. And next up is a 4K. Oh, I think my voice broke then. A 4K arrow. So we've got pitch black. Now I have the Blu-ray, so I'm going to take the slipcover off the Blu-ray and put it on the 4K. So there's the artwork on the 4K. There's the back there, special features. Let's see, of all the um, Riddick movies, this is my favourite one. The artwork on the disc is the same, so you got the El Duce, Duce tapes, I don't know what that one is. But that looks like Donald Trump. And then you get the Arrow booklet here for pitch black and let me see the alternate artwork on there is the same artwork that you get in the normal blu-ray i'm not going to close that because the artwork bent a little bit so that is my 4k of pitch black and i also picked up the special edition uh is it special i assume so or is it collector's edition i'm not sure of urban legend trilogy I did have the um, normal 88 release. I've sold that now and I've bought this one because this one was down to 20 something. So I just grabbed this as soon as I saw it. So there we go with Urban Legend Trilogy. Nice little box as well. So you've got the artwork there. It goes around and then you take. Oh yeah, I've just got the rest of the school there. Well, let's take these out and take a look. So first up, you've got. We'll go with Bloody Mary because I just grabbed that first. Oh, so there's this is the third movie. Um, not as good in my opinion, but still, still a fun movie. There's the back there. I think the others focus on a human doing the urban legends, and then this one is actually an urban legend come to life. So, so you've got like a booklet there about each movie, you've got the artwork behind. Bloody Mary. There we go. And then you got Urban Legend Final Cut. I did enjoy this one. Really enjoyed this one actually. So some of the deaths in this were really cool. There's the back there. There's the disc. And the artwork behind is the kids in their class. There you go, and you get a poster for this one. Oopsie daisy, I dropped it. There we go, so we've got, this is its um, poster for the first Urban Legend. And then you've got that, which is really awesome. I'm going to be putting that on the wall, that's cool. Yeah. So that is Urban Legend Final Cut. And then the best of the bunch, in my opinion, we've got the first Urban Legend. There you go. I, I love that eye in the middle there. So there's the back of that one. Load of special features in there. And inside you get... So you get the disc one, the feature, and then artwork behind there. And disc two is bonus. So there we've got the killer there. Not gonna say who. And then you get art cards in here, which are pretty neat. There you go. I always forget that Tara Reed was in this movie. I don't know why. Yeah, so this is from the second one. And Jessica Caul Caulfield. Is it Caulfield? How do you say her name? Uh it doesn't say, never mind. Obviously, I've only seen her in comedy before. There you go. So 
because that's the second one. Okay, this is Bloody Mary. And ah, Bloody Mary again. Oh, that's nice. I do like that. So that's it, guys, for my big uh, mail haul. I hope you like what I got. And thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.